your credit was denied, your investment collapsed, your account was frozen, and there's no person behind these decisions, just a machine, an artificial intelligence you can't see or question. Welcome to the financial system of the future, where algorithms are in control, and humans are just data points. In this brave new world, data becomes destiny, and machines, not ministers or managers, hold the keys to the vault. As decisions grow faster than thought and colder than reason, the question becomes, are we still in charge? Or merely passengers on an automated train we can no longer stop? We're entering a new era where AI isn't just supporting the financial system, it's running it. Machines make lending decisions, drive stock markets, and even determine insurance premiums. AI isn't just replacing tellers, it's replacing thinkers, analysts, and advisors. But what happens when the system fails, and no one can explain why? Today we're peeling back the digital curtain to understand the rise of AI in finance and its profound consequences. The rise is quiet, but the impact? Unmistakable. From Wall Street to your local bank app, the transition is underway. And it's not just the future, it's happening now, in real time, all around us. The lines between man and machine blur with every transaction, and the more dependent we become, the more power we surrender. What is financial AI? Financial AI systems are powered by algorithms, trained on oceans of historical and real-time data. These algorithms can forecast market trends, optimize portfolios, and detect fraud. But they do more than analyze. They act. These systems execute trades, approve mortgages, assess risk, and even predict economic downturns. Behind every online banking app, every fintech dashboard, and every stock trade is a growing layer of artificial intelligence. The infrastructure of global wealth is being rewired by code. As financial AI evolves, it's moving beyond automation into autonomy. Systems learning from markets, adapting their strategies, and optimizing in real time, all without human interference. Entire institutions are being restructured to prioritize machine efficiency over human discretion. In this digital architecture, trust is no longer built on human judgment, but on the precision of code. Early warning signs of a silent crisis. AI is only as good as the data it learns from. And that data can be deeply flawed. When Apple's credit algorithm gave lower limits to women, it wasn't malicious. It was biased. When Amazon's hiring AI rejected female candidates, it wasn't programmed to discriminate. It learned to. In finance, biased data can cost lives. Imagine being denied a mortgage or flagged for fraud because of your zip code or browsing history. It's already happening. And the most dangerous part? Most people don't even know. Invisible systems making invisible judgments with real-world consequences. As these decisions grow in volume and complexity, transparency becomes nearly impossible. If we can't see the logic, how can we question the fairness? Even regulators struggle to interpret decisions made by these black box models. Without accountability, discrimination becomes institutionalized, not by policy but by probability. Algorithmic trading, machines versus humans. Today's stock market is a battleground for machines. High-frequency trading algorithms process billions of data points, faster than the blink of an eye. They react to tweets, headlines, and geopolitical events in milliseconds. Human traders can't compete, but speed comes at a cost. In 2010, the flash crash erased a trillion dollars in market value. In minutes, no fraud, no hack, just machines spiraling into chaos, too fast for humans to stop. And with every upgrade, they grow smarter and harder to predict. Financial firms are racing to develop predictive AI models that not only react, but anticipate human behavior and market psychology. As markets get faster, transparency and accountability are harder to maintain. We're creating financial ecosystems where speed trumps stability and complexity overrides comprehension. Is AI already controlling markets? Yes, and not just Wall Street. AI manages billions in index funds. It powers apps like Robinhood and Wealthfront. It decides how much insurance you pay and which investments you see. These platforms feed on your behavior, learn your fears and hopes, and optimize accordingly. But AI doesn't care about fairness. It cares about profit. If maximizing gains means excluding people, it will. The algorithms are blind to justice and deaf to the human cost. 
the invisible hand of the market has become an invisible machine. The question is no longer whether AI influences finance, but how much of the system remains understandable to its creators. If we lose sight of the design, we lose control over the outcome. When your financial future is decided by a machine learning model, the stakes are no longer theoretical. They're personal. What happens if AI runs it all? Now imagine a world where all financial systems, banks, stock markets, crypto exchanges, are controlled by interconnected AIs. A single anomaly in Tokyo triggers a sell-off in London, causing a collapse in New York. No humans intervene. Why? Because they no longer understand the system. Central banks, economists, regulators, they're all a step behind. The Bank of England has already issued a warning. A future AI-driven financial collapse could be faster, deeper, and harder to stop than 2008. And unlike past crises, this one may come without warning signs. Autonomous systems have no empathy, no morality, just execution of logic at scale. In this world, resilience isn't a policy, it's a programming feature. When speed replaces foresight and pattern replaces principle, the system itself becomes unknowable, and therefore ungovernable. Can ethical AI exist in finance? Yes, but only with strict safeguards. Ethical AI must be transparent, explainable, and accountable. Every decision should leave a traceable path. Human oversight must be mandatory, not optional. Companies like BlackRock are leading the way, combining AI with ethical review boards. But we need more. Governments, regulators, and tech companies must collaborate. Because without guardrails, we're letting machines play with the global economy, with no breaks. The rules of trust, fairness, and equity must be programmed into the code. Auditing AI is as critical as auditing financial statements, and the penalty for failing to do so could be a systemic crisis we can't reverse. Ethical finance in the age of AI means rethinking responsibility, not just who makes decisions, but who designs the systems that make them. What you can do, protect yourself. Educate yourself. Learn how AI works in finance. Take online courses. Follow trusted tech and finance sources. Knowledge is your shield. Ask your bank. Demand transparency. Find out if an AI made a decision about your account, and why. Support oversight. Advocate for legislation that mandates human review of automated decisions. Back initiatives for ethical AI. Protect your data. Use privacy tools. Review app permissions. Your data fuels the system. Control how it's used. If your credit card is linked to spending apps, review their data sharing terms. One click could impact your future loan or insurance approval. The more you know, the less you're at the mercy of machines. AI and the future of economic power. The more AI is used, the more power shifts, from institutions to algorithms. This changes geopolitics. Countries with the best AI might control trade, debt, and resource allocation. But it also creates inequality. Those who control the code, control the economy. That's why open source AI, global transparency, and decentralized oversight will be critical. In this future, financial power isn't just in vaults, it's in code. And whoever writes the code, writes the rules. Nations must now consider not only economic policies, but also data strategies. In the 21st century, economic dominance may be driven less by GDP and more by AI capabilities. This is a digital arms race, and no nation can afford to be left behind. AI isn't good or evil, it's a mirror of its creators. But if we ignore its influence in finance, we risk building a world where machines make decisions, without mercy or meaning. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe for more insights into money in the future. Like this video if you believe technology should serve people, not control them. Your financial freedom depends on it. We still have a choice, but the window to act is closing. Let's not just be consumers in a machine-led world, let's be the ones who shape it. Because the economy of the future should work for everyone, not just the algorithms. The time to act is not tomorrow, it's today.